check out the new M3. The register number 154. Welcome to a brand new video, guys. Right now we are in, I think, Wesley Chapel is where we're at right now. And they got a nice a lot of cars featuring yours truly. We got my boy Chris with the 2019 GT Pro Charged. You already know it's putting us a power down if you got a freaking fat rail on the back of the back of that thing. But we're going to Bradenton Motorsports Park, I think it's called. First time going over there, so that's why I already know the full name of it. But we also got two Camaro SS1 LEs. So we're all going and we're meeting up with like I think two or three more people. And we all go right out to the track. So if you guys are watching this video right now, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. I really, really appreciate it. The channel's growing. Thanks to you guys. So thanks for all your support. And uh, to answer the question that a lot of people are going to have, yes, I'm racing that car. I'm taking that car to the track to race it and see what I can do. Now, I already know in the comments, you guys are going to be like, man, that TL is not a race car. It's a luxury car, man. It's not made to go fast. You're absolutely right. It's not made to go fast. It's not a race car. You're absolutely 100% right. I'm not, I'm not even going to argue that. But if you watch this video right now, it's for two reasons. One, you support your boy. So I highly appreciate you. And two, you're a car enthusiast. And car enthusiasts, especially, especially car enthusiasts that have, sorry, especially car enthusiasts that own a car with some decent amount of horsepower, what, you know, what's something that they would like to do with our cars? Let's like drive fast. And where, is, where can we only drive the car fast, legally? The track. So, there you go. Go to the track, see how fast I can get it to go. I am by no means a professional driver. Now, I know these cars do a quarter mile, I believe, in 14.1, you know, six-speed manual type S does 14.1 to the quarter mile. So that, of course, is professional driver, perfect weather conditions, perfect track conditions, all that. 14.1 is, is the best time they got out of it. So, mind you, I am full bolt-on and tuned. So, with my non-driving ass, if I could get a 13.5 out of it today, I'll be very happy. I would have felt, you know, I, I, I feel like I've, I've, I've progressed because the first time I went to the track, was about three years ago. I had some bolt-ons on it and I wasn't tuned, so the car was lagging. So the best time the best time I got for that whole night was 14 to 6, which is what the base model automatic was. So that was kind of that was kind of crappy honestly for a, a type S. But once again, not tuned, had bolt-ons, and I, I had a slipping clutch at the time. And my clutch completely went out like a couple months after that. So all those factors played into the lousy time, but don't mind me, I'm not trying to hear make up excuses. I'm just really just letting you know, like, it's all about perfect car, perfect weather conditions and all that. So, if I hit 13s today, I will be happy. At least I know I've progressed from the last time I went to the track, which was, like I said, three years ago. I haven't taken my car on the track since. So today we're going to Bradenton. Bradenton is a much nicer of a track. It's a lot wider of a track too. So we can run, I think, more than two cars at once, which is pretty cool. So, I'm here right now with uh, some of these folks. And I don't know what this guy's doing right here. You know, we were going the correct way and he turned around. So I'm not, sure, I'm not quite sure what's going on right now. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Okay, apparently he's having a problem with his battery. Like, I guess a message popped up on his dash saying uh, a little battery voltage or something. Said something about his battery, but he's coming back now. There he goes. So now everybody hit the road. Playing musical cars over here. Launch that <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's a fun little car, yo. <laughs> that really just has a oh shit. Hear me? <laughs> All right. Fast forward about two hours. We are now here at Bradenton Motorsports Park. There's the Camaro. Oh my God. Another Camaro behind me. My boy's Mustang somewhere back there. And we got a Miata too. And we got people leaving already. <laughs> oh, I say already, but it's <laughs> it's 7.20 already. We're actually late. Got a Lambo out here. And a parachute on the back of it. Get my wallet ready so I can uh, pay to get in. But damn, 
Got a GTR. A lot of fast cars out here. Yeah, I see some Cadillacs over there, some CTSVs. I see, I even see a CTSV wagon over there too. I don't know if y'all can see that. The only thing that's kind of killing it right now is that the sky did start turning a little bit gray. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but yeah, it started, started to, the sky started graying up a little bit. That was what was getting here, which kind of sucks. I mean, it hasn't rained all day, which is nice, but now that we get here, it looks like it's about to. I really hope it doesn't. I mean, if it does, at least hope we at least get one or two runs in before before it comes down. But living in Florida, you really just never know what to expect, man. The weather here is always unpredictable. See another Mustang over there with a rain on the back. Hell yeah. All right, we are inside. 20 bucks later, not bad. Just seeing how far we drove from it. My camera does not want to stay straight for some reason. But we are here, guys. All right, I'm registered, number 154. Did you get your racing guy? Yeah, I got mine already. Over there. Let's go. All right, we're already in line, ready to go already. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. And I can't really use the head cam, but it's gonna be very, very shaky going at these speeds so uh I'm gonna try and record this somehow if not I'll just pass to a friend of mine have, have him record from the outside but uh yep let's see if we can at least get one pass in before it rains and I'll see if we run like it's you know like I said before well I don't know if I said before but I'm aiming to run you know mid 13s if I can get the launch right get the shifting right that should be good so wish me luck man wish me luck Ooh, somebody got the new M3. Well, we're here lining up and it's already starting to rain. Still haven't gotten it running yet. Everybody's still lined up here. My car is way back there. That sucks, man. Since it doesn't look like we're going to be able to race anytime soon, at least check out what we got here. Check out the competition. That's dope. That's dope, brother. I like that. It's a nice color, too. Old school. That is nice. This way is something serious. Damn, look how big them tires are. Exposed turbo setup. Jeez. Alright, so we're going racing again, so I'm going to get in my car and uh, line up. This car is kind of cleared up a little bit, it's going to rain no more. Ooh. This is about to run it. And then I'm moving, back to green.
boobies out. I ran a 13-2, not bad. Ten nine, ten six. And it's a bus once again. It started raining again. Typical Florida, yo. That is it for tonight. Everybody be safe going home. What's up? I got a full airbag Yeah, me too. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. Until then, good night, drive safe. Well, they just officially shut down the track, guys. What a waste of a trip. On a bright side, though, I mean, it was a complete waste. You know, it was a day out with uh, some cool people, some fast cars. I mean, we didn't get to race ours, but. Got season cool race at least for the race uh, before the, the rain came down. So. All is well then ends well, you know. Anyway, appreciate you all checking out this video, even though it was a fail <laughs> miserably. But oh, you know, it wasn't really our fault. You know, I tried to get a successful track day in, but obviously the weather had other plans. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. And uh, hope the next time around we'll be able to actually get some runs in. Or maybe, or you know, maybe just go to the one in Orlando, so we're not be taking a two and a half hour drive like we did today. So, thank you guys for watching once again. Appreciate you all. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Love y'all.